Hello everyone. Uh, I hope all of you are doing good. So in this session, I'm going to explain you about uh, what are the different ways of freight handling. Okay. So we are going to see in the real business process, uh, how will be the freight uh, different scenarios and how can you manage it. Okay. So let me see that what are the different scenarios we come across when you deal with freight and uh, as a consultant, what kind of uh, solution you can provide it. So like I mentioned, our agenda is freight handling. So I hope you will get some benefit from this business scenario and different kind of cases explanation. And if you're watching the video on YouTube, please subscribe. And if you're watching the video on uh, Udemy, please provide your valuable rating to encourage me. So let's go to the topic today. So what are the different ways? So if you see the start a uh, business process wise, if you can check it. So how will be the business process? The company. And vendor two parties company and vendor and company needs a product so the product will come with a truck okay. let's focus on the domestic if it is international you will have uh, some more uh, like um, freight local vendor freight transport local transporter and uh, also from the company from the vendor to port and also from the port to company. So the multiple freight uh, vendors will be there. Let's uh, conclude or uh, let's assume that one, both are in the same country and the goods will come here. So this transportation, we generally have this freight or shipping cost, how will be handled? So that's what we are going to check it now. How will be this freight will be handled? So let us check the uh, the actual business process wise and uh, how do you deal it and what are the different cases I saw in my experience uh, with respect to freight handling. So what about the freight handling uh, related scenarios when you come to know that uh, the case one freight or shipping charges are already handled, are already included, are already included in material price. If they have already included in the material price, then you don't have to do anything. So in this case, no action required. Okay, if the make already included, what you are going to mention, no additional, no additional setup. Already material price itself contains everything. No additional setup is required. And second one, The second scenario, freight charges to main vendor but the cost But the cost should not be loaded on material. So for this one, I saw the two type of uh, cases in my experience. That uh, one is 2.1. Create, uh, add. 
एडिशनल लाइन आइटम एड एडिशनल लाइन आइटम इन पी ओ एस टेक्स्ट और नॉन स्टॉक मेटीरियल ओके वेदर यू कैन हैव ए नॉन स्टॉक मेटीरियल और टेक्स्ट प्राइड चार्जेस लाइक दैट एंड यू शुड कीप दी अकाउंट असाइनमेंट कैटेगरी ऑल्सो सो दट रेस्पेक्ट टू प्राइड चार्जेस विल नॉट बी लोडेड ऑन दी मेटीरियल ओके माई मेटीरियल इज इन आइटम टेन एंड फ्राइड चार्जेस आर इन द आइटम ट्वेंटी एंड सेकेंड वन विल बी टू पॉइंट टू सो द सेकेंड विल बी द पी condition tab add freight but we don't have to do this much complicated if there is a, a main vendor or a different vendor okay let me put this so that we don't have to main vendor or separate vendor okay so pio item condition tab uh, you will keep the freight but need to set up need to set up for not loading loading the cost on inventory or cost on the material price so if you search in uh, google or any search engine that uh, freight on non inventory by ganesh padana you will find my blog where i explain the detailed configuration for this scenario so this scenario is suitable for this scenario is suitable for the different vendor here my separate vendor separate vendor case uh, you can use this one and same vendor if it is same vendor you don't have to uh, put up this kind of a configuration the complication directly you can have additional line item so that uh, the price will be paid to the vendor but it won't be loaded on the material okay and the next scenario or a next kind of a case if the business says that uh, we don't know anything about the freight at the time of uh, creation but um, we will come to know during the invoice already gr posted everything for that one you can use um, unplanned unplanned delivery costs in invoice verification so here there is a setup for this also whether you want to uh, load uh, unplanned delivery cost based on the po items the cost by segregation how do you want to segregate but you can give a unplanned delivery cost in invoice verification if you don't know anything at the time of uh, po creation that is one kind of a process and another one now uh, it will be like uh, regular freight right as one condition type right as one condition type in uh, conditions vendor can be either main vendor vendor can be main vendor or separate transportation vendor or separate vendor it can be any one main vendor or separate vendor and here uh, the cost will be loaded on the cost will be loaded loaded on material if the freight is 10 the cost will be loaded on the material so this is the way uh, these are the different kind of uh, freight uh, which we observe in uh, business process whether you are able to handle as um, separate line item or you can include as a condition type and uh, then you can make it 
So these are the different options how we are able to manage that uh, respective fright. Okay. And another case which we can uh, see is like um, direct direct posting of fright charges. Right charges by finance. What it will happen? You have a transport vendor. He will take care about uh, maybe ten trucks or twenty trucks he has given to your company. These trucks always uh, taking the material from vendor to your location, your location to customer location, or uh, they will do all kind of transport activities and monthly they will send you the invoice. So finance will directly post. If it is a transaction code wise, FB60. And in theory also, there is an app for uh, handling these freight charges. So these are the uh, different ways like how um, freight will be handled. But if you see the process wise, okay, vendor is giving the material, I'm taking it and it is coming to my company. The freight charges will be there. If you are normally ordering any product in any website or e-commerce thing, you will see, right, the product cost you will see that uh, product cost uh, 1000 rupees and um, shipping charges okay shipping charges maybe 80 rupees then the total cost will be 180 rupees okay. so if you have a tax and all the separate now you can focus on the freight charges and all these are the different freight handling. I hope you got to uh, know that you try to understand about the different processes. And if you have any kind of scenario you wanted to understand, please put as a comment and keep learning and uh, follow me for learning more. Thanks again. Thank you.